Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we will continue with more Butler tips. Let's create a more real world use case for automation triggers and something a little more advanced. Let's get started. First click on Butler in the top right of the page. Click on rules and click create rule on the top right highlighted in green. Add a trigger. Let's click on checklist this time. Add a checklist name that you will be using to organize your teams. For example, design tasks. Create this name where it says the checklist name option. Click on added to in the next field option. Then click on by anyone. In the next field section, click the plus button to activate this trigger. Next, let's go to dates. However long you feel this set of tasks will take to complete, let's select this due date. For example, we will select five days. Click on the set due date now button here. Change the in one hour number to in five days. Remove the one and type in five and click on hours and change this to days. Click on the plus button highlighted in green to add this trigger. Next, let's click on content. Change the card description to something that suits your team for what you're doing. I will just add a brief description on design tasks. Add extra information required here for your team as needed. Click the plus icon and add this description. Next, let's click on the members button. Here you can add specific members to this board. This is good to help keep the right members notified on work that is required by them. Here you can add multiple members. Repeat this process until all of your members have been added. Now that the commands have been added, let's add a checklist to any one of these cards to see if everything has worked out as normal. Click on checklist on the card and add the specific checklist name used on your Butler trigger. We use design tasks on ours. Type in design tasks, press enter, and you can now see everything has been populated, including the member associated, due date, and the card description we added. I also typically like to keep a template of the checklist if it is being used multiple times. Let's quickly add a design template checklist to use for this board. I typically like to create a separate list to hold all of my templates. This helps keep everything organized. Let's go back to original card and remove all of the old information we added earlier. Next, when you click on checklist, add the checklist design tasks. Now also click copy items from and wherever your template is located. Click add and you can see everything is automatically being added as well as our checklist template. This saves a lot of time and prevents errors for missing information if this is filled out manually. This can be a large checklist and this was just a very small amount of things you can do with Butler. Next video, we will do one more use case of Butler Automation. If you like these videos, consider subscribing. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.